For the circuit diagram below, determine the current in the 57.6 ohm load resistor by Norton's theorem. This theorem is closely related to Thevenin's equivalent circuit because we only need to transform the circuit from voltage source to current source and place the open circuit resistance parallel from the current source. Norton's resistance will be the same value as the Thevenin resistance, and the Norton's current will be voltage Thevenin divided by Thevenin resistance, okay? So again, when working on Norton, we must find the Thevenin equivalent circuit first, then proceed to transform it into Norton. So our goal here is to find the voltage across this resistor because it will then be the Thevenin equivalent voltage. Because if we measure the voltage drop across this load resistance, it will be the same here as well. So that's our goal. And how do we do that? We simply use KVL with these two meshes we call I1 and I2 in the clockwise direction. Don't forget to label the polarities. So in I1, we are entering in the negative side of 96 volts, so that's negative. Next, positive I1 times 12, or 12 I1 plus. Next, we have two currents here going opposite with each other, so that's I1 minus I2 multiplied by 12 ohms, all equal to zero. This is now our first equation. In the second mesh, I2, we have again I2 minus I1 multiplied by 12 plus entering the positive side so we have 12 I2 and lastly another 12 I2 for this resistor all equal to zero. Simplify and this is now our second equation. Note that we cannot apply KVL in this part because terminals A and B are being short-circuited, okay? To find I1 and I2, you can use different algebraic techniques with these two equations. For me, I like to use matrix or elimination method, and so we will find I1 as 4.8 amps and I2 as 1.58 amps. So this means that 1.58 amps flows in this resistor. Therefore, we can now find its voltage drop. So V Thevenin, or the voltage across the 12 ohm resistor, is I times R. So 1.58 amps times 12 ohms, and we have 18.96 volts. Now that we have the Thevenin voltage, we have to find the Thevenin resistance, or R Thevenin. How? By simply finding the total resistance of this circuit. So let's start off with these two parallel resistors. If we combine them, we will get 6 ohms. Now that they are in series, we add them to get 18 ohms. Next, if we combine these, we will get 7.2 ohms. And lastly, since they are in series, we add them up and we'll get 19.2 ohms as our R Thevenin. This is now our Thevenin equivalent circuit. Transforming this into Norton, we just simply redraw and convert the voltage source into current source by dividing it by its Thevenin resistance. Hence, we get I Norton as 0 0.98 amps, and the resistance will still be the same but parallel, 19.2 ohms. Now that we have this, we can calculate the load current by applying the formula. IN or ISC for short circuit current times the Norton resistance RN over RN plus RL or the load resistance. So we have 0 0.98 times 19.2 over 19.2 plus 57.6 and we will get 0 0.25 amps.